Okay, the main objective here again is uh, to evaluate the high potential. There was no, there was no uh, local bred uh, rootstocks. Uh, we're looking at different soil types, different climatic conditions, and uh, at the end of the day, we want to make recommendations that uh, can complement the fruit quality of plum cultivars. Um, it's very important if you do uh, rootstock evaluation to select your sites very carefully. So you will see all the sites selected very carefully for uh, the purpose we want to show. Uh, here is the sites. Again, a low-lying sandy soil with a fluctuating water table but drained. High in the ring nematodes. We've treated it in the beginning African Delight and Simondium. This is, this is the soils where we've got the most uh, problems and we want to see what we can do. The other one was a high pH, sandy soil, high ring nematodes, and it was treated African Delight in the Robertson area. And uh, the other site was a high potential soil, moderate pH, moderate number of spiral, ring and root lesion nematodes um, and it was African rose in the Robertson and then four and five is actually on the same soil outside uh, Stellenbosch but it's Sun Breeze and Leticia we look at both cultivars because the one is a cross pollinator of the others and it was uh, we can now see if the same rootstock apply and then the other one was also high clay uh, moderate ring and these trees were under uh, water stress problems right let's go through it high risk soils as i say for dieback there's a lot of dieback uh, it's a low lying uh, area and you can see 93 percent uh, sand uh, there's water tables, but uh, there was a very good uh, drainage system put in. We've, uh, there was high ring, but we've treated it uh, several times through the season to see what we can get effective drainage. And Atlas was very good rootstock, Sapu. But Sabu not for your early cultivars, only for your later cultivars. Water cut, but you must do ring treatment, otherwise you get small fruit. Uh, Florida guard, usually we won't recommend Florida guard on a soil like this. And, but this soil was now well drained and we put in Florida guard there for a reason, because it's sandy and uh, the the uh, site next door or the orchard next door there was a block in the drainage system and everything died so if you've got a problem with your drainage uh, Plodegard will be the first to go um, Plodegard also you need normal pH can't take high pH and no wet conditions Harden of trees from the nursery it's very important that we understand that the trees that we get from the nursery can have a big effect on, on the rootstock. For instance, uh, uh, Flor de Gat uh, is not going into uh, the rest period in winter. It's coming quickly out of the rest period and sometimes it's not hardened off from the nursery and there's no reserves. And then the, that tree will stand for a yellow season and that's what happened out there so in that case you must hit it uh, back you must also paint the trunk with white and pop white paint and copper maridon is mostly from a consultant point of view the best recommendation on the soil but uh, it's sensitive not as much as Mariana for bacterial 
canker and the fungal infections. The other sandy soil that was the high pH 7.6 and high ring, really high ring in Robertson area. Uh, it was more than a thousand to three thousand uh, the number of ring nematodes and Atlas, Federman and GF performed the best. You can't use Mariana, Maridon in that area. Uh, in, uh, if there's high ring, you'll have small fruit with the two of them. Also Maridon in that area is flowering abundantly. So that it's, uh, you can't use Maridon in the Robertson area. It's very good for the Somonium and this area. Sapo, you must be careful, we can't, you can't plant it on high pH soil. So, um, you must also be uh, careful for early cultivars or, or low chill areas with sapo. The reproduction index on that orchard indicate that Chikuba 5, Mariana, uh, Maridon, GF are extremely good hosts for ring nematodes. All our rootstocks are hosts for nematodes, but Atlas and Kaderman and GF are more tolerant to uh, this situation. Garnem uh, was not included, it was not uh, available at that <coughs> stage. Right, let's quickly look at uh, it, what, what I'm trying to show you is that yield and fruit weight of plant trees can be significantly influenced by soil texture, by abiotic stresses and by pests and diseases. Uh, you need healthy nursery trees with sufficient feed roots. Mostly in the field, the problem is that you've got GF with no feeder roots, only uh, two twinner. And you, you've got a problem. And then enough reserves from the nursery, like Florigard for instance, but also if trees are not hard off, you've got a problem. Sandy source, we've got Atlas, we've got Kederman, we've got GF and Florigard. Uh, as I said, gar Garnem was not uh, available at that stage. High potential soils, GF, you've got Mariana, you've got Atlas. High clay, Viking, Maridon and Sabu.